you mentioned getting into the industry at 18. Um, so tell us about that. What's your origin story? How did Natasha Nice become Natasha Nice? And what was it like getting in the industry so early? Um, how did Natasha Nice become Natasha Nice? So the backstory there is that I wasn't really allowed to go out much as a teenager and like um, hang out or party or anything. Went to a small high school and I kind of just started like going for walks around where I lived and I ran into all the boys there and we would play basketball or whatever. But I had a, I guess what you could call a late start with when it comes to sex. But then when I turned 18, I had already been sending nude photos to all the boys that I liked anyways. So I kind of just developed naturally that I should go online and find a way to make money off of nude pictures. Um, so we had this really weird digital camera. It was like purple anyways. And, um, yeah, so it kind of just started there. And then I like went on sexy jobs and I went on Google and typed in how to become a porn star. Found oh my sex God, sexy jobs. You were taking me back, girl. I mean, so <laughs> I go on xbiz.com and I see an ad for sexy jobs and I'm like, that works. Like, <laughs> I went there. <laughs> So yeah, Wait, that is still exists. Sexy jobs does. It does. Really? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess. Okay. So, so you went on sexy jobs and what happened from there? Um, and then I got like a solo here and another solo there. And then an agent contacted me and I already knew from the solos that it was a pretty lucrative situation. So I uh, signed with an agent and he just, they just started booking me. Like I, I think I started out for, as girl, girl only for a couple months and they were booking me a good amount, but then they were like, you know, we, we could get you so much more work. And by then my feet had already been dipped in the water and everything. And so I kind of asked my boyfriend at the time that was cool. And he just kind of rolled his eyes and was like, yeah, sure. Whatever you want. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we actually lasted four years, believe it or not. But I was going to ask you because I feel like that's a pretty big decision. I mean, obviously not only for you, but for your significant other to decide to share you with other people if you guys like weren't in the lifestyle at all. Yeah, I think I had a gut instinct at that moment that that would eventually end the relationship. And that is ultimately what happened. But I was maybe partially naive and partially more interested in doing yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get you were also like, you were 18 and you had the whole world ahead of you. Yeah. And I just really wanted to like be more of a sexual creature and less of like a mm -hmm. dorky, you know, scholastic creature. Is that what you were growing up? You were like a dorky kind of smart, nerdy kid? Mm, I was a lot of things. I was dorky in the sense that like people laughed at me, but I was kind of chubby too. But I also was friends with all the different cliques. So I, I don't know if you could call me like a traditional dork or nerd or whatever. Like I kind of just mm -hmm. bounced around the whole school and made friends with everyone. And then I was student body president and then I like played basketball and volleyball, but I never really had like a tight knit group of friends. Um, mm -hmm. I was kind of like awkward. I was like the one low income kid in this private French school. And I, I think that maybe had something to do with it. Um, I don't know. Looking back, I was just a little bit weirder than I am. now. <laughs> yeah. So what was your first, I guess, tell me about your first solo scene first. Like, I want to know like what the very first time that you did anything adult related was. Do you remember who it was for? Mm, the very, very first one, which I never saw anywhere on the internet. It was off of the 101 at like this hotel. I can't remember what it was called, but I see it every time I drive on the 101. It's like in Van Nuys area Van Nuys or even Balboa area and it, he paid me two grand just to watch me masturbate my boyfriend waited in the car in the parking lot I went in I masturbated I don't think I did any paperwork uh he paid me and then I left so I would think it was like a personal collection kind of thing yeah thank yeah, <laughs> oh my god were you nervous I mean I guess your boyfriend was in the car so he was I, a scream away, but I think I just have always had really big balls when it comes to doing things. And mm. I 
I knew that, I guess I knew that he wasn't, like, I must have figured he was a pervert, but, like, I'm a pervert, too, and I know I wouldn't hurt anyone, yeah. so it wasn't that much yeah. of an issue. Um, I think it was just, like, two grand? <laughs> That's, like, where my head was at. That's a but lot. Flags, you know, so I yeah. guess I wasn't that, that nervous. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.